Okay, you guys, the other day I posted a short about the one tool every TPT author should be using. And not just TPT authors, actually. Anybody that uses any of the Google suite of apps or Microsoft suite of apps. Actually, anybody that uses a computer should know about this incredible tool called the Paint Formatter. It looks like a little paint roller in Google and in Microsoft it looks like a paintbrush. They both do the same exact thing. It is often overlooked, rarely used, until now. You guys are going to use it every day because you're going to be like, this thing is incredible. Where have you been all my life, paint roller? So in my short video, I explained what it was. In this longer video, I'm going to show you how to use it and explain why you need this in your life. Let's pop on over to a Google Doc. You can see right here, I have a blue paragraph right here and it is in Century Gothic. That's the font. If we copied this, Control C, and then came over here and pasted it, Control V or Command V on a Mac or just go up there and right click, you can see that it holds the Century Gothic font and the color from the previous doc. Some of you know that you can right click and you can paste without formatting and it will change it to Arial, which is the font for this doc. There is a keyboard shortcut for it. Instead of just hitting Command V or Control V on your PC, just hold the Shift button as well and then it will change the formatting to the the docs formatting. That's super helpful and a bonus tip for you. Today we are here to talk about the paint formatting tool. The paint roller will take any formatting that you have on here. For instance, if we change this to bold, italic, underline, and change the color of it, we can just place our cursor in here, click on the paint roller, and choose any word in here like headphones, click on it, and then it pulls the formatting from here and places it here. So useful. But how does that relate to you, TPT authors? Well, I know that you are constantly creating things in PowerPoint, in Google Slides. And as you can see, in Google Slides, the paint, little paint roller is there. In Google Sheets, it's also right there. It's in all of the Google apps. And it's also right over here in Microsoft. So this is Microsoft Word. You can see the little paintbrush right here. Here's PowerPoint and you can see right here the little paintbrush is right there in the corner and Excel has the same icon. I'm fairly confident every rich text editor has this little formatting paintbrush. Okay, let's say you're creating a resource for TPT and you want every other word to be red, italic, underlined, and in bold. You can sit there and you can do every other word, but why waste the time? Just come over here, click where the formatting that you want to copy is, double click on the paint roller brush, and that will keep it engaged, and then you just click on the words that you want. It's that easy, you guys. Let's say that you need to do an entire line. All you have to do is copy the formatting, like what we've been doing, and then you see the icon, how it has a little paintbrush by it. You just highlight the entire line that you want to do, and then let go. And then to turn it off, just go up and click on it. You can see how handy this is already, right? Your mind is probably saying, oh my gosh, paint roller tool, where have you been my whole life? This is something that used to bug me so much when I'm doing a numbered list or a bullet list and then the margins get all jacked up and then I skip a space and I want to go back and I want to add to it. It is such a hassle to get these things to line up, but not with the paint roller tool. All you have to do is click over here in the list. Like let's say you want our class to be number four. Well, you could come over here like I used to do return and then just hit return and it becomes number four, right? But there's an easier way to do this. You just go over here where it says do, click on the paint roller and then go over here to our, click on it and it becomes four. If I 
sincerely. And let's say you want you made a mistake and you don't want sincerely over there. You just go over here and then you click over here. You guys, the paint roller tool was there to help us and we've been ignoring this thing for so long, but not anymore, right teachers? We are not only going to use this handy tool, but we're going to teach it to our kids and there'll be an entire generation that fondly and passionately uses the paint roller tool. Am I right? If you learned something today, please consider hitting that subscribe button and liking this video. It's going to help push it out in the algorithm and reach more people so that we can help more people learn great things like this. And if you are really interested in learning all the new stuff that I put out on this YouTube channel, please hit the little notification bell too so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. My name is Darren Akakihara. Until next time, teachers, have a great day.